Hello everybody, welcome back to Blues and Bullets. In the last episode, uh, we just finished watching Elliot Ness confront Al Capone in his house in a flashback of right now. Because uh, we're in the diner, this guy's showing the bullet, and that started the flashback. We finished that flashback, and now we're back in the diner. That's some first class pie. I <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible, I'll be doubly grateful. Hmm. Gentlemen, is he coming on to me? Up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? People flail their arms around all the time. Friendliness. Sorry, guys, I have to close up. Today's meal is on the house. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's too, or I'm not coming back. You got that? Whatever you say, Dickinson. Oh, no, the incredibly rude asshole won't come back. Whatever shall I do? Whoa! Mr. Big Britches. Let's settle down, you hear? Alright, looks like we're gonna go get in uh, the car with that big guy. Leave the diner. I should have loaded it into Docker's gun and shot Capone. Maybe it would have jammed again. But one way or another, it would all be over. My bad. Oh, I think not shooting him was like the only option, because otherwise it wouldn't have been like a meaningful flashback. Kills his family and flees. This morning, Osmond Burke, the commend er, condemned rapist of Vermont, and the son of the rich tycoon Jebediah Burke, killed his family in what seems to be something, something, something. Apparently, I don't read. I, I consider myself a very fast reader, but clearly not fast enough. I know that guy's waiting for me. I'm gonna stop and look at things randomly. Get myself a cola. <laughs> you do me. What? You, what? What? <laughs> Suck it, Ness. <laughs> what an asshole. So we didn't even get our soda. Damn, machine jammed. Have you seen these children? Wow, that's a lot of missing children. Holy crap. Jeez. I thought it was just like the four that were in there. Like two or even like the three. Three or four, I don't know how many. He's putting quarters of things and things keep happening. They keep not happening. Clearly, he's not the best businessman. Oh, sorry. Got to put my cup down. Food to dine for. I get it. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. <laughs> sorry, I had to randomly look at stuff. Uh, identity. I can swear I've seen your face before. Sure. I'm the guy you served a slice of blueberry pie to five minutes ago. Oh, Thanks okay. Remember me. I do remember that. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch I never cold. actually saw him eat the pie, though. Hmm. Never follow a stranger. What an ominously placed poster. It's a sign. What's a billboard? Now it's a poster. All right. Ooh, achieve unlocked. The past catches up. Alright, so now is Al Capone coming after me for his revenge? I'm assuming he's still alive. See, everything looks nice, but the rain effect over everything kind of looks... eh. It's kind of ruining it for me, because I like the, the wet asphalt and all that. It looks really nice, especially more modern games. Like, that was one of the best parts of GTA 5 was the rain at night. It was awesome. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? Alright. Easy enough. Excuse me. Is that guy wearing like a pirate hat? Oh, it's like a costume pirate. Okay, so he's not the only one wearing a pirate hat. And he just kind of left me to wander around by myself. Hmm. Oh, let's go talk to the 
fine ladies over here. What's up? Sick tats, yo. Want to see my want to see my tattoos? My sweet tribal tattoos and um my wire around my bicep because I'm a cool guy. The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that, buddy. Hmm. Yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. Jesus, lawn of the helium! Thanks for the history lesson, buddy. Okay, maybe you want me to keep going this way? So all those people appear to be in line, and I'm just kind of wandering around, staring at people's tattoos and muttering to myself about blimps. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. You okay? Can I help him? Can you help, buddy? No. He's just going to stand there and touch his forehead and stare. Hey, Ryan. Oh, I can kind of. Ooh, look at him. He's kind of dancing. Cha 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 cha. Strange little sprint. Is this one not going to give you a soda either, just like the last one? Oh my god, why is every single soda machine broken in this world? Okay, let's go. I always liked riding those types of things. Any sort of system like that, like trolleys or trains or... Oh, what are these called? What, are, what is the word I'm looking for? Li like lifts? No, because it's not like a chair lift. God, what is that word? This is going to drive me crazy. Whatever, I'll get over it. Scared of heights. Change the subject. Hey, you sure we don't know each other? I never lie, sir. If you need a paper bag, I have one. Just jump, you'll be fine. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Now that just doesn't seem safe. Like, if it gets windy, it's gonna push that thing to the side and, like, snap the cables. Well, then again, what do I know? I'm not a blimp engineer anymore. I've left that life. What's the matter, puppy? Gotta say, I'm really, the atmosphere in this game is pretty great. The cinematography and the music and everything works really well. Hot damn! That's a hell of a blimp. Pretty unrealistic. I mean, if you look at the blimps they actually had, they were very kind of small rooms. Kind of cramped. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Okay, giant red banners. Anyone else getting kind of a Nazi feel for this? Are there going to be Nazis I'm in this game? I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. Did but he even pay for the pie? Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? Uh, screw it. Why not? We're Ness. in this pretty deep. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. He's not Ness. afraid of no alcohol. Nice home. choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I okay, help Okay, so you? she would have known if we'd lied. I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Say what? Cunning. Listen, Susan. I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. 
Your call. Some of the He's syncing up with the mouth in the presidential suite. is a, a bit odd for me. Carpet. Doesn't look super Thank great. You, Susan. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. I don't know. It's okay, I'll, I'll say that much. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves kind of in three minutes. Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you. That would be pretty cool, though. Like, I'm afraid of heights. Like, unrestricted heights. Like, I like flying in planes and stuff, but... Like, the edge of a cliff. I'm afraid of. I think, I guess, I guess everyone's afraid of that. <laughs> Except for, like, cliff jumpers. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Do you not know what the Shakespeare's ropes mean? They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. Like, he's not moving his teeth at all. His lips are kind of wiggling around. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. It looks like he's marching in, like, a musical. Uh, can I look at that? Whoa! I remember the thing that guy said three minutes ago. He said, higher than the clouds. Okay, where'd that guard go? Not doing a great job. It's okay. I guess I'm kind of used to killing all of Al Capone's guards. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. Why is it easier to just make a cable car going up here? Okay, I already looked at that thing, dude. Rather than just have the 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 blimp land, I feel like that'd be easier than syncing up this cable car system. The window cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. <laughs> Sweet fireworks. Excuse me, don't mind me. Seems to be like the same group of three people. Sliding glass doors? What? They didn't have this sort of technology then. Why is he wearing sunglasses? Uh, optimism. Someday, maybe. Someday I'll get a man like that. <laughs> and then I'll be truly happy. Okay, what do we got here? Another soda machine! We have spent 30 cents on soda today. And. Jesus. Come on! Yeah, I'm pretty pissed too. I spent 30 cents on soda today and haven't even got one. Even the one in my own restaurant didn't work. It's kind of crazy. Okay, we got some sexy shoes. A little bit of wine gone. A steam message. Someone giggling at his sexual inadequacies. I don't want to look at the painting of the Hindenburg. Uh, hey. It's really surprising that they're using actual depth of field. It's, it's kind of nice. As long as it doesn't look horrible. It's a hard thing to emulate in games. Depth of field and bokeh and out of focus things. Because we're expecting it to look a certain way that we, do, that we see through photography. But it's kind of hard to realize after the... Or to image after the real human perception. Hey buddy. You what cleaning some blood? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Hmm. Law. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. We're above the law, is what he's saying. 
police. You never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Hmm. You're not doing a great job cleaning it up. How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know why I worked before this, my good man. My good chum. Remember Japanese garden. It's a very pretty place. It's that weird spinning fire. What is going on over there? They have someone strapped to the spinning piece of wood. Is there like a circus act going on? I love the circus! Oh, they're throwing knives at her. Nice. Let's go check that out. Can I throw a knife? I want to try. Let me try. That is a rather unimpressed crowd. Like they're not even clapping. They're like, ooh. Ah. Uh. She just like bumps him and stabs the girl. Uh oh. Bravo. <laughs> Holy shit! It actually happened. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry. I like how the crowd only laughed after. Let's see, I want to look at her. Can I look at her? Oh. My bad, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened. That's amazing. Holy crap. Hello. Oh, uh, well, clearly I'm supposed to go that way, but I guess we'll check this out. If it wasn't for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Okay, so it's an exit. Alright. Oh god, he's still really ugly. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. It's actually a really cool picture of Alcorn's jail cell. It's pretty luxurious. You're yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer <laughs> to death than club. when I last saw you. As are you. Purpose. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? Curiosity. I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. Because it's clearly I me. Hire you. Say what? What? What a twist. I require your services as a detective. Irony. Always love you're good so irony. Old, I don't know if you're senile or if you're joking. <laughs> Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. He's got them jokes. Well, what happened to my son, Vittorio? What happened to your son? I, the uh, kid I kind of manipulated. I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who <laughs> she is. It's an awesome name. Nobody? Eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Milton, you son of a bitch. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, <laughs> and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Uh, well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. And she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, I find that hard no to believe. Glasses. Everyone in this game has no some sort of ridiculous accent. Could be anyone. 
Even me. I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought no. I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Have you checked? Huh. So where should I be looking? I don't know, man. I don't know shit. Um, Mafia. You were the biggest boss in the Mafia. And by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. Ooh. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You well, could have killed me. To be honest, your bodyguards were kind of but pathetic. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. For her. It. Not for you. Because the story's got to progress somehow. I knew I got the right if I hit guy. never... But I want like, something in return. I don't know, something would happen where I ended up doing it anyway. Short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. Um. Jail exile. Uh, um. Jail. You confess to any crime you like and go back to jail forever. That won't be difficult. Since I got out of jail yesterday, I've committed a few. Oh. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. <laughs> Wait, you know where to find him? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. Adjectives. You saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. A, a female police officer me? in this time period? Like the early 20th century? Deal? Hmm. I don't know about that. Oh my god. Punch him. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, I'm really glad I did that. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? He's got really short hey, arms. Me. Maybe he's just walking with him like I know you up. from somewhere. I keep saying that. You don't know me, man. Yeah, you're not gonna ask me for my last words. You should be running. I'm never going to help you. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. Obscure monologue sequence. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Yes, of course I remember that. That literally just happened. The giant moon. This town has become a jungle. We're not even the rats are safe. Let's fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to squabble over their prey. But it wasn't always like this. The Santa Esperanza oh, geez. Was, was a clean town. A place where it meant something to be a cop. <laughs> that was quite the... Stand up, buddy. Get up. There you go. Troy, quick, take a letter or er, take a cover behind the B. And the E. Oh no, we're going to the D. Oh jeez. Uh, 
Headshot. He took everything I had, but in the end I sent it to hell. Clearly not. He got out Life. just fine. Got my feet back on the ground. But now he's back. And he's dragged me in. Just when I thought I was up, they pulled me back in. That was a pretty cool sequence. I like that. Really awesome lighting in this game. Need help. Juice! Yeah, buddy! You don't need that whiskey. You got your orange juice. Vitamin C! Don't want you getting scurvy. Um, well, drink and then answer. <laughs> it's not a great multitasker. It was juice, right? Like... Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue, in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Mmm... Lie. Some mail turned up for him at the diner, with a wrong address. Elliot, <coughs> don't lie to me. I'm a cop. You go outside the oh, a good one, I buddy. <laughs> Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. We don't want to get in here all mixed up in this. Keep her in the dirt for now. Mm. <sighs> Orange juice. A long, long day. Yes, it is. But we'll deal with that tomorrow. I thank you guys for joining me for the episode of Blues and Bullets. This was a long one, damn. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, want to see more of this in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patrons. Click, Burt Macklin FBI, The New Warden, D-Pay, and Tiny Pirate. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if anyone else is interested in supporting the channel, you can visit patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.